Hello everybody, it's me, Ember, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've recorded one of these, uh, but we're back to doing our village quests. And that said, we're going to move on and do yet another urgent quest, which is going to be the first ever rampage that we do for the village quest. We've done rampages, at least one rampage actually, on stream before. Um... If you miss the stream, I do k let all streams stay on twitch.tv slash emberdragonlive. Uh, the reason that they disappear from YouTube is unknown to me. I don't delete them. I'm not doing anything to them. It just sometimes, randomly, for some reason, stream just disappears from YouTube. I don't know why. It just does. But we're going to do a rampage, and hopefully that should be fun. I actually prefer rampages to normal hunts sometimes. Um, for some people, it's like, I'm not always in the mood for a long rampage. I prefer hunts, but sometimes, for me, it's more like, I'm not in the mood for a hunt. I'm in the mood for a rampage. So, I look forward to the rampage, but it should be longer. So, this may be the only thing that we do in this episode, particularly. I was wondering when you'd show up, Ace. It's finally time to face the rampage. I heard from Elder Fugen that your task is to repel any monster that has made it into the stronghold. Since this is your first rampage, there's probably a lot you don't know, so I'll fill you in on how, on how things work here. This area serves the same purpose as the main camps do out in the field. If you get thrashed real bad, you'll wind up back here, but it's fine as long as the stronghold is okay. You can keep retrying. You can swap out your gear and weapons and sort out your items through there. If you want to ba uh, bail on your current loadout, you're free to switch up your gear inside. The stronghold is just beyond that exit there. Oh, and for the bigger rampages, you'll need to defend more of the stronghold, so more exits will be available. Alright, I'm going to head off to the stronghold. Meet me there when you're ready. Okay, will do, sir. So even though you've already done a rampage and a hub quest, we haven't done one in a village quest, so it still kind of treats it as a tutorial. Which is fine by me. Okay. Good to go, Ace. Welcome to Stronghold. The villagers all built this place to defend against the rampage. The waves of monsters that attack during rampages, we call them hordes, will come in from that direction. The hordes will try to destroy the stronghold by breaking through the gates. These gates are what's keeping the monsters out of Kimura. And keeping the monsters off the gates and out of Kimura is why we're here. We fight off the hordes of monsters using machinery developed specifically for this situation called hunting installations. Looks like we've got plenty of prep time. Come with me, I'll explain how to use them. Okay. Yep. So we'll go ahead, head over, and set up some hunting installations. Alright, first let's ready Ballista, one of the many hunting installations. Select a Ballista to be used on this installation platform and the village defenders below will set it up. Give it a shot. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set up a Ballista. And... Okay, I'll tell you more about the Ballista later. Alright, how about you set up the next hunting installation? Okay, so he wants us to put a Defender Ballista over here. So we will do that. Defender Ballista allow villagers to attack monsters. After all, one hunter can only manage so many installations. So let's let a villager take over and set up the next one. Okay. So now he wants to set up a bamboo bomb. So we'll put a bamboo bomb there. Bamboo bombs will detonate once monsters get close enough. Mm -hmm. Set them up uh, in front of a horde to stop them in their tracks. I think we've set up every basic hunting installation. It's about time I explain the details of ballista usage. Come over here, Ace. I am coming. Oh. Oh no, let me back up. There we go. And I've mounted the ballista. Ballista are installations that fire quickly at foes. First press A or ZR to fire a ballista shot. 
The display number indicates the amount of shots remaining. Because you have ammo. After a certain time, it will auto-reload when you're out of ammo. Nice. Next up, we've got the Crag Shot. Press X to fire. Crag Shot is a special ammo that can stun monsters. You gotta aim for their head, though. Yep. Next, try firing off a retreat shot by pressing Y. Land the hit, there's a good chance you'll knock back the monster. Crag and retreat shots are strong, but you gotta time him. Okay, now try guarding by holding R. Just as you're about to be hit by a monster, quickly guard. Doing so will reduce damage and prevent knockback. Thank you, it does. And that's it, you're now Ballista Pro. I wouldn't say pro, but you know, I know what I'm doing. That's enough, go ahead and dismount by pressing B. Can you feel that? That's the rampage approaching. Set up more hunting stations on other platforms. Okay, and now suddenly we have freedom. So I'll put another auto there. I'll put manual over there. I'll hop on over here so I can go ahead and... No, I don't want to be on the wall. So I can go ahead and put another auto over there. Oh, we have the first horde. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to quickly put some more things down. But we can finish after the next wave. So it's fine. I'm not too worried about this. Especially because it's the first rampage. Okay. So we have stuns the Great Azuchi already. Nice. Okay. And we offended him off. In yeah, good work, Ace, you repelled the monster. Looks like a targeter type. Uh-huh. They're the ranged boys. They keep their distance and use long-range attacks. And they're mostly flying and annoying. Except for Rajang. The cannon unlocked. Hey, not bad, Ace. At this rate, the stronghold will be fine. Okay, this one is a gate crasher type. Because it will come in slowly and uh, focus on the gates. We focus on the gates, leave them alone, and we're toast. So a good thing that we're not leaving them alone. We're going to shoot them with our ballista. And it's very slow. Very slow. Just slowly wait for him to come. We stunned him, so that's okay. And retreat shot to get him out here. Or just kill him, I guess. Well, not kill him. We just repelled him. Good job, base. The gates are still intact. Yes. Okay. Then we have stronghold levels. So we get more hunting installations. Okay, now let's wait for these guys to come. You got new installations and your shots firepower has increased. Yep. So we're going to go back and shoot these guys. Okay. I thought that he was going to attack, but he didn't. And that's fine, because we could just use the crag shot to stun him. Okay. There we go, another crag shot. Nice and simple. The Akinasama is going to be a pain. Okay, but I was able to defend myself there. Okay. So I used that retreat shot, so hopefully that will get the Tetranodon out of here, and I can stun the Akinasama. Boom, down on the ground. And who's coming now? A Great Azuchi, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, there's the Great Azuchi. So go ahead and shoot you. Oh. Okay, so you're not attacking just yet. Okay, I managed to stun him. I didn't know if I was going to be able to hit his head because it was kind of, like, lower. There we go. Great Azuchi repelled. Okay, now what's next? Okay, the major threat, Arzuros, has appeared. Come on, Arzuros. Come on. Over the wall you go. Okay, so I could shoot at him and miss, like, all the shots, but the bamboo bomb's gone off. We can't stun him as easily because he's a major threat. Okay, we got the counter signal, so we can actually head right off with our, um... There we go. With our dual blades and attack. There 
There we go. Oh, this set's different than the one I'm used to. Oh boy. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter on my own recently. And I have a different build than this. With the uh, Evade Extender. And whatnot. Okay, so the next horde's gonna be incoming. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a few more hunting installations to prepare. Wait, where does he want me to go now? Okay, over there. Oh, he's gonna teach me about the Dragonator and power killing and whatnot. Yo, Ace, remember how the Stronghold level increased before? As the stronghold levels up, you'll be able to use more powerful installations like the Dragonator. You can repel monsters or inflict stun and other status effects to increase the stronghold level, so go nuts. Press A near the sliver to ready the Dragonator, then press A again to activate it. Once it's activated, a gigantic spear will thrust straight out. Time your attacks that monsters are directly in front of it for maximum impact. The Dragonator is an already weapon, but it takes time before you can fire it again. If you don't want to wait, you can use a power kill to speed up the process. They can be used to hasten repair times for destroyed installations, too. Make sure your arsenal is fixed before a horde comes. Yep. Okay. That sounds like Elder Fuga and Ace over there. Over here. Here or there. Wants me to go that way? Oh, because it's going to teach me how to remove installations. Occasionally, a brave warrior of Kam uh, Kimura will come out to thrash during a rampage. Looks like Elder Fugans showed up this time. Go ahead and call him from this installation platform. Oh, and hold down A over any setup hunting installations to dismantle them. Yep. So we'll go ahead and remove that. And we'll go ahead and put Fug in there because that's what it wants us to do. Okay, now can I put other... Uh, installations down. No, it's not going to let me. Okay. Okay, it does let me now. Okay, so I could put Defender Cannon, Defender Ballista. I'm going to put another cannon over there. Oh, well, I was going to, but I kind of fell down. Okay, off the wall, please. There we go. So I'll go ahead and another cannon can go here. I'll hop on over this way. And eventually I'll put dragon bait right there if it's needed. There we go. Okay, so bring on the second horde. I am ready. And this bliss does a bit damage, but it's fine. I could have power kill and I just didn't. Because I was setting up other stuff. Which if they manage to break through the gates will be more useful. Anyway. Oh, boom. Whatever happened there just took out all of them. I don't think the game was ready for that. Okay, well, I was going to pick up that material, but there's more coming already, so I'm just going to uh, shoot at them. There we go. Shoot the Arzuros. And Ballista. I was going to try to crack shot it, but I missed the head and I didn't stun it in time. Okay, but I can stun the Tetranodon, and, okay, I'll retreat, shot you, and I'll go ahead, hop on the Arzuros, and then use the Arzuros to stop the Tetranodon. So, turn around, A. I I I missed. You missed, buddy. Okay, bear hug. Because that Tetranodon's going to take a bit of damage. Okay, well, the Tetranodon is taken care of. So now we'll fight Narzros and Arzros. Okay, the, the, uh, the Aknasam is a more worthy target. But it doesn't want to target on the Aknasam. It wants to target the Arzros. Which is just fine. Because now we can go ahead and take on the Aknasam too. Boom, that Arzros just destroyed. Okay, now I can wait for the final target. Well, the major threat. Yeah, great Ragi. So now we fight the great Rogi with the Arzros. Come on, bud. And swipe. There we go. 
if we do well, they won't get past, like, the second gate into the final area. Which I think that we'll do fine, so. I'd be very surprised if we didn't. Okay. Great Roggy, I'm here to destroy you now. There we go. Got some demon mode in. There we go, Beyblade off it. Okay, demon mode off before I run out of stamina and regret my decisions. And Great Roggy down. We didn't even have to use the Dragonator. And you don't always in Rampages, so I guess it's not too big a deal. It's just we didn't have to in this particular. No, I didn't want to waste a potion. But I will carve this Great Roggy. Oh, that was only 15 minutes of recording. So that wasn't actually too bad. There we go. So take all that. And I'll take all the materials that are here on the ground. Just because I may as well. It won't hurt anything. And they didn't even make it to this gate. So that's also good. Okay. Just gonna kind of zoom around while I'm waiting. To return to the village. There we go. Quest complete. Nice. Oh, cutscene. Or something. Oh, Magnum Allo. Hello, beautiful. Look at him. I forgot about this cutscene. Magnum is great. Love his design. Not one of my favorite monsters by any means, but I do like him. It's very cool. Big ol' cat. Oh boy. Wire bug out there, yep. I'm pretty sure in the armor I'm wearing, I'd be able to take a hit from Magnum Allo. Which does lower the stakes a bit, but still like, holy cow. There's a big ol' Hellfire Cat. Will do.
Yes. That is what he said. That is what he said, children. Let's B rank. There we go, and we'll take all that. I mean, it's not like we even had the chance to get any higher than B rank, to be fair. Okay, well, this brings us like 20 minutes. So maybe this would be a good, uh, good place to end off the episode. And then... What, I think it's going to have us face Magnamalo next. Ember, good work in there. Thanks to your efforts, Kimura has emerged from it this relatively unscathed. But things are going to get real, uh, real hairy now that we got Magnamalo in our hands. Like I was telling you back at the Stronghold, that fiend showed its ugly face during the rampage 50 years back. Old Ham just about lost his neck trying to stop it from taking out the village. And now it's reared its ugly head again. Ember. The safety of Kimura is in your hands. Hunt down that fiend and finish it for good. We're still not sure what's behind this dang rampage, but if we find something out, you'll be the first to know. Ember, I need you to go see Hammond. He says he wants to have a word with you. Kimura is more than just stealing monster hunters. Yori's been struggling to get what that means, but I think Ol' Ham is trying to clue him in, in his own way, of course. Ol' Ham used to be as cold as Tatara Steel, but I guess he's getting soft in his old age. Heh. <laughs> anyway, don't keep our man waiting. Okay. So we'll talk to Hammond. Hmm, <laughs> you're here. Do you know of the monster Bishatin? It's a fanged, thick-tailed beast with unpredictable movements. It's attacking anyone passing through the shrine ruins. An urgent quest has been issued for you to hunt it. What are you still doing here? Hmm, <laughs> you need a reason, do you? Very well. Right now, you, no, all of Kimura hasn't got the strength and means to take on Magnamalo and the Rampage. It feeds on the Horde to gain power. You could try to kill it, but it'll just eat even more to restore its strength. So, what we need to do is separate it from the Horde, and I'm devising a way to do just that. In order to finish my device, I need materials from Bishten, which just showed up at the ruins. The construction itself is, no, forget it, time's short. We'll talk when it's done. Right now, I just need you to hunt Bishoten. Okay. So, in that case, we're going to do that in the next episode. So, anyway, that's all for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!